I haven't made a video for about a month now because of the weather, also because I've been moving house and just sorting loads of stuff out. Um, haven't really had much time to make a video, but this arrived. So Omni um, Celestron two times Bilo lens. If you don't know what this does, it effectively doubles the focal length of the telescope or any lens you put inside it. Um, I'm using my camera and just the telescope. With the lens attached onto the camera, it then makes my telescope go from 1,200 mil to 2,400 millimeters in focal length, which is quite a lot, to be fair. So this is actually my first proper evening trying out the lens. So it might go well, it might go bad, but I'm gonna try and get some moon photos, um, just surface photos, really. Uh, see what I can do with it. I might try Jupiter, but yeah, take the telescope outside and start shooting. Just a quick thing to add, if you want to do this yourself, make sure you buy a Barlow T adapter for your camera so that you can actually fit your camera into the Barlow lens and then into the camera. Um, depending on your focal length for your, for your telescope, you might need to add some backspace like I've done here. But yeah, make sure you get a T adapter because you will need that. It's pretty cold tonight. I was due uh, rain pretty much all night. Uh, there's a small cloud there. <laughs> so far, it's looking good. I'm really happy about the weather actually, because I hate the rain and I hate the clouds. I'm gonna go grab the telescope. A battery might help. There we go. Got it in focus. And I'm gonna take a couple photos and then I might take a few videos too. It, it takes a while to get this in focus, um, mainly just because of how zoomed in I am. It's quite hard to get the camera still and focus at the same time, but I'm um, luckily I've got a crop zoom on my camera, so I can zoom in by five times and then a ten times as well. So yeah, let's start taking some photos. I've got my camera on a um, timer so it doesn't wobble whilst I'm trying to take a photo. There we go. So the two photos I've taken so far, which is this one and this one, they're taken at a 40th of a second and the ISO is at uh, 100. I think the camera um, and, the, and the telescope as a, like a base is uh, F ratio 5. I'm pretty sure just as the standard. I can't change it because I don't have anything attached to the camera. So I've just got this. Um, I don't know too much about cameras yet. I know it's around five though, which is it's all right. I'm gonna try and get one of this crater here. The telescope I'm using is a Skywatcher 80 inch Dobsonian, and on top I've got my Canon 1300D. Well, I do have a Canon 5D too, but this one has live view, which is much nicer for making videos with. It's a lot harder to show you guys with the Canon, with the 5D when it doesn't have live view. Also, it's a lot harder with settings as well, because here, if I change the exposure, I can see it. Um, and I can't with the 5D, so I've got to take a lot of test photos, which is a nightmare. So this is just makes my life a lot easier. <laughs> and it's a great telescope definitely recommend it for anyone who wants to get into the hobby this is what i first brought as my proper first telescope it's been amazing comes with a great finder scope too not the red dot one they're awful i've got a um i've got a three inch jessup's reflector and that's got a red dot finder it's it's awful to use so here i'm just taking a video of the moon passing by just to show you guys how hard it is to actually get on target with this. If I move it even just slightly, it, um, it flies through the frame so quickly just because of how close I'm on. I definitely recommend getting 
a Barlow lens when you buy this telescope, or if you buy any telescope. It's um, it's great for viewing up close with stuff like the moon, and you can do a lot of planetary imaging. Uh, I haven't tried just yet with the with the lens I've got, um, but I probably will do in the next few nights. Didn't think I'd do this tonight, but that there is Mars. That's pretty cool. Don't think you can see it with my phone, but that's awesome. I think that was a pretty successful session. I got some really good photos of the moon. I got some really good videos as well. And I also thought I'd try Mars and Jupiter and can't believe I actually managed to get them on video. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to stack the images, sorry, the frames from the videos and get a, an image out of those two for Mars and Jupiter. And I'll show you at the end. But yeah, that was pretty successful. I'm going to go and edit. <laughs>